this is all shit on it right here, right? Now we're gonna stack these up in the back of the trunk. Bring them over to the house. Yo, what's going on guys? Doug Sensor Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before we get into this video really quick, G Fuel winner number four for the Cherry Limeade is right here on the screen. If you guys want to enter and win, there's going to be three more chances on YouTube. All you have to do is make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel, leave a like on this video, and comment, give us Cherry Limeade. There's going to be three more winners posted here on YouTube. There's going to be seven posted on Instagram, and then seven posted on Twitter for the weeks coming. I'm sorry that I did not post in consecutive days. This is actually my second video in five days. I've been slacking. I've been going through a lot of stuff. I'll talk about that really soon. But today, in this video, before we even get started, I just want to say my hair is growing back and I am so happy about it. Guys, I look normal again. I went through like two and a half months of depression, but it's all good. We're back to normal and um, yeah, this video actually has to do with my new flavor because right behind me over here is actually my new flavor of cherry lime. So I hit up G Fuel and I was like, yo, send me some tubs of cherry limeade. As you guys see, it says G Fuel Blend Cherry Limeade Tubs. And basically inside each box of these, is 12 tubs of cherry limeade, okay? So what I thought about doing today as a really good idea, we got 20 boxes, so there's 10 boxes here, 10 boxes here, 240 tubs of cherry limeade in total. And what I thought would be a really fun idea is to take the cherry limeade tubs and make like the biggest tower of G Fuel. Like, I, I didn't know of anything else to do with these tubs and I wanted to do something fun with them. So, what I ended up doing was I wanted to make like a giant surprise and like make them into this kitchen and like fill up the kitchen but you guys are gonna see by this footage right here that it didn't go exactly how I wanted it to like the tubs kept on falling I said, you know what, screw it. I'm not gonna do any surprise. I'm not doing anything like that at all. Instead, I'm just gonna take a flat surface. So I cleared out this dining room table. I moved it out from under the chandelier. And what we're gonna be doing is taking all these tubs here, as many as we could fit, because we got a high ceiling up here, and we're gonna make the tallest, tallest stack, pyramid, whatever you guys wanna call it, of Gamma Labs G Fuel Cherry Limeade. So if you guys are interested, like I said, if you wanna win these, all you have to do is what I said earlier in the video, and we got 240 tubs here, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these tubs, so you guys gotta help me out here and let me know, but I'm gonna start stacking all these tubs over here, and um, well, yeah, I don't know what to expect. I know Adapt and I know Rain have made tubs of Gamma and Gamma Towers before, but I think just looking at this ceiling, like from this, table to that ceiling, we're probably going to make the highest, tallest Gamma Labs tower in history because I don't think anyone else out there bought 240 tubs of Gamma and I don't think anyone else in phases had 240 tubs of Gamma on them at one time like I do. So I'm going to take this opportunity to take the most of this, take advantage and make this giant tub. So I'm going to set this camera up on this tripod here. I got the lighting over here and let's get to work and see how high we can make this tower. I know this looks like nothing right now, but I'm telling you, this is gonna be a freaking masterpiece. Just taking extra precaution. Shit. 
I just tried so hard to do that. That sucks, man. So after I did a little bit of architectural research on the internet, I found that the structure that I was trying to make wasn't being supported because they were not even on the ground. So what I decided to do was I made it like a pyramid shape towards the bottom where it would like be overlapping on each and every other gamma tower. But as it gets higher, it's harder to support. So now I'm starting to stack them directly on top of each other. And I also made every single tub perpendicular. So it's literally in a straight line. Like you can't even see these are actually a little bit crooked right here, but you can't really see much of a difference in the back. It's a lot stronger of a structure now. And um, this is where we are. We still gotta fix all these tubs and then take them over there and then make the tower. So let's do this. We completed the biggest tower of G fuel ever. Yeah. This is oh my. Oh my God, you're crazy. This is my tower too. That it fell once. It all fell, and I was so scared because of the woman from under. And then I just finished it. I literally just got my last picture, and then it fell oh again. Oh my God, you're crazy, dog. Guys, I don't want to move too fast because the chandelier behind it is shaking. Like if I walk too much then it's gonna fall again. I think I'm gonna try to pose for one more picture just because I want another angle, but guys, we completed the world's biggest tower of gamma. This is over 100 tubs of G fuel right here, guys. Oh my God, guys, that was literally one of the most scariest things I've ever done in my life because the woman that lives under me gets so mad if she hears me walk, like let alone seeing a massive tub. Oh my God, that was the laundry. Let alone seeing a massive tower of G Fuel just collapse on the ground, but that's the best I'm gonna be able to do. If there's any towers of G Fuel out there that are bigger than this, let me know in the comments down below. I think I hold the record, okay? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Gamma Labs and I'm gonna make an even bigger tower on like a really flat surface and try to do every single tub in the warehouse till we could hit the ceiling. Like, this is the highest that I could get, guys, before it fell down because I don't know, I guess my table's not even or something, but. This is pretty impressive. So, like I said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to win a tub of G Fuel, all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this thumbnail is good. Like, that's the only chance we're going to have at this thumbnail because I don't trust this thing. But um, I hope you guys all enjoy this. If you guys like this video, if you guys want to see more things like this, let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you guys all have a great day. It's been your boy, Doug Sensor Martin, and I'm out, guys. Peace. Peace.